first thing I like to say is check out my friend's channel, The Doctor's Channel. The channel will be in the description box below. Now into the video. Sup so guys, Moth here, and I'm here to tell you about this awesome gun I fucking picked up from the Crucible, whatever. And this thing is called the Answering Chord or Chode or whatever the fuck. I just called it Chode because why the fuck not? Also, a good thing it picked up too because I wanted to review it and add it to the series called Forgotten Weapons. Yeah, my like pretty much forgotten weapons that basically not a single fucking soul uses in the Destiny universe, or at least in PvP, PvE, raids, or whatever. Just guns that nobody uses anymore for some reason. Now let's skip over that bullshit and just go over the weapon stats. The rate of fire is 77, impact is 28, range is 64, stability is 10, and the reload is 34. I know what's your first reaction about that stability. This is absolute bullshit! Yes, I know the stability is absolute ass, but please, please just hear me out. I have an absolute god roll on this thing, and I mean, it kicks ass. In the first perk tree, I have Hammer Forged and Casket Mag. The second one I have Lightweight and Hand Light Stock. The third one I have Counterbalance, and my god, it wrecks so fucking much in this game. The sights I have for this weapon is a slow 12, the spell 28, which is my personal favorite by the way, and the throw 41. Now let's check out the aesthetics of this weapon. Mm, it looks pretty good. Now it performs in PvE. It performs okay. It doesn't really melt enemies like Gallahorn, for example, but that's a fucking rocket launcher. But it will melt enemies. Just you're better off using a fucking exotic aesthetic like the Solo Supercell or something like that. It gets the job done, but it's just not that great in PvE in general. Now in PvP, that's where this gun really shines, dude. That it's really good. If you aim upper chest and the head. It will fucking melt people. I'm not even joking, dude. I've done a nasty kill streaks with this gun alone, <laughs> and it's just that great, really, in my opinion. I've killed people with this gun from distances that auto rifles are not supposed to touch. I'll tell you guys some tips for this weapon or this weapon archetype in general. That it pairs well with snipers, really well, actually. That up close you can use your auto rifle, from far away you can use your sniper rifle, at least closer distance. You can have some success with fusion rifles, but that's not really recommended though, that's the thing. Unless you're more aggressive and a little bit more patient trying to bait them in there. Shuckers are not the best choice since they have been fucked way too hard. Unless your enemies are in your face, I guess it's not the best choice in any other situation really. Alright guys, this is the end of the video. Thank you for watching, subscribe for more. And later, dude, moth out.